This video is brought to you by Power Performance Products, where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Following an unfortunate string of injuries, this UFC vet is ready to get back in the mix of the lightweight division. I'm Evan Dunham. I'm fighting out of Extreme Couture. I'm going against TJ Grant on September 22nd in Toronto at uh, the new UFC 151. <laughs> I feel great. Uh, camp's gone good. Everything, you know, is falling in line perfectly, weight and everything. So, um, really no complaints in this camp. Uh, guys at my gym have been pushing me hard and I, and I feel like I'm going to peak at the right time. TJ Grant has won two in a row since moving to lightweight, but Dunham hopes to hand him his first loss. I feel his ground's good. I feel my ground's better, though. Uh, same with the stand-up, same with the wrestling. So uh, I'm going to take the fight wherever I want it to be and uh, beat him up. If you don't believe in yourself, then, you know, why give you in there? So I, I believe every aspect of my game is, is better. Um, he's a great fighter, but, you know, I think it's going to come down to who's the tougher guy, and I am the tougher guy, so I'll win the fight. Jay Haran's return to the UFC is something that has helped fuel the talented team at Extreme Couture. At this gym, everybody's somebody's got to fight, you know, every week coming up. So, but right now we got you know Jay coming up here in the near future, and I think that has motivated a lot of us and kind of uh, got us all going. Just because uh, it's a big fight for Jay, and he, he really deserves it. You know, Vinny's on the same card as I am. Um, Campman's got something coming up here in the near future. So we got lots of guys coming up on cards and uh, we all just all, you know, thrive, thrive off each other's energy. Dunham also gets work in at Drysdale's Jiu-Jitsu, a very high level place to work on your grappling. I try to get over Drysdale as much as I can, not as much as I'd like obviously, just because at this point in my career I think, uh, you know, uh, quality over quantity is the best thing for me. Drysdale's a great coach and I got you know, a great stand-up coach over here, great guys to work with over here. So between the two gyms, uh, I feel I get everything, especially with my uh, strength and conditioning coach, Jake Minacci. Dunham understands how stacked it is in his division. This fight means a lot, you know, as all the fights do for anybody in 155. Um, you know, it's just, it's a mad dash to the top right now uh, since it's been freed up a little bit. And, um, you know, went over Grant is going to do good things for me and hopefully give me one more good fight and then I'll be fighting for that title. Dunham talks about the highest point of his career and ironically, it may come close to the lowest. Right before they made the decision at the Shirk fight, <laughs> that's when I still had, was sure I had won that fight. Lowest point, uh, I, don't, I don't think about the low points. One thing's for sure, come September 22nd, Dunham will be looking to reach another one of those high points. Looking forward to going up to Toronto and fighting in Canada. Canada's a great place. I'm just looking forward to getting back in the cage and fight and thank all my fans that have been with me. Thank Hayabusa and uh, all, my, all my coaches and training partners. I'm going to make it a, you know, a knockdown drag out fight. Should be a fun one and uh, whatever comes from it comes from it. But I guarantee you I will have my hand raised at the end of the night. <laughs>